Thanks for checking out this question from our daily live Zoom calls. Please like and subscribe to keep learning how we help the largest online community of self-directed retirement investors and entrepreneurs grow and control their retirement funds. It works. As far as your last question here, is there a maximum a person can convert from a post-tax contribution to a Roth IRA? So if we're talking about a voluntary after-tax solo 401k contribution, as opposed to a Roth solo 401k contribution, there is no triggering event that has to be met before one can transfer funds from a voluntary after-tax solo 401k sub-account out of the plan to a Roth IRA. Whereas if someone wants to transfer other funds like pre-tax or Roth funds from their solo 401k to a Roth IRA, they'd have to meet a triggering event. Typically, you have to be at least 59 and a half years of age before you can transfer money out of the plan to a Roth IRA. Now, I know we just talked about a pre-tax to Roth conversion. Well, that's inside the plan. It's going from the pre-tax solo 401k subaccount to the Roth solo 401k subaccount. There's no triggering event requirement for a pre-tax to Roth in-plan conversion. But if you want to transfer money out of the plan, even if it's going to another retirement account, like a Roth IRA, then you have to consider those distribution rules. And the typical default rule is you can't transfer money out of the solo 401k until you're at least 59 and a half years of age. Now, one of the exceptions is voluntary after-tax solo 401k funds. So one of the top reasons that clients set up accounts with us is the ability to make those voluntary after-tax solo 401k funds, because that's how one is able to make mega backdoor Roth solo 401k contributions because the voluntary after-tax solo 401k contribution limit is higher than the Roth limit. And so some clients want to keep it. They want to have that mega backdoor Roth end up and stay in the solo 401k because maybe they want to be able to use it to take a loan, or maybe they want to be able to invest the money in alternative investments, like say real estate, but other clients their goal is to make the mega backdoor Roth solo 401k contribution, but have the money end up in a Roth IRA. And I just texted over a page that goes over the procedures to do that. So in that case, what those clients will typically do is they'll make all their contribution as a voluntary after-tax contribution, not as a Roth, not as a pre-tax, and have the money go into a separate voluntary after-tax solo 401k sub-account knowing that there's no triggering event that has to be met before they can transfer the after-tax money out of the plan to a Roth IRA. So hopefully uh, that gives you a sense of the process. As far as whether there's a maximum, there is a maximum in terms of how much you can contribute, right, from your non-retirement account to say the voluntary after-tax solo 401k sub-account, but there's no maximum as far as how much you can transfer out. Right. So like if you set up the plan now, you will meet the December 31st, 2022 solo 401k establishment deadline, which will preserve the right for you to make all types of contributions to the solo 401k for 2022, anytime up until your business tax return deadline, including a timely filed extension in 2023. So you might have someone that makes their 2022 after tax contribution next year let's say all the way up to the max. And then let's say at the end of next year, they make their 2023 after-tax contribution and they transfer all the money. So they've really got two years of contributions that are being made during the same calendar year. And they transfer all that money from the after-tax account to the Roth IRA account. It could be in two transfers, right? Once after they made the initial 2022 contribution and then a second time after they made their 2023 contribution. So there's no limit on the amount of money that one can transfer out of the after-tax solo 401k sub-account to a Roth IRA. So hopefully that helps with your question.